Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. This time it's on Scrap Dino Thunder, in fact. So I decided to end September with a banger, and this is actually one that people have been wanting. And yeah, this deck's actually a lot of fun. And Dinosaurs, even though, yeah, Misk is still at one. I wish it went back to at least two copies, but it is what it is. But there are actually ways to still like be able to make Dinosaurs pretty consistent. And the Scrap Engine is definitely one of those engines that can definitely help with that. Sure, there's the ground Xeno variation where, you know, you basically uh, go into some level 6 monsters and... Which is cool and all, but I feel like that build's a little too bricky. And not to mention, considering just how tight the extra deck is already, I feel, you know, like this is probably going to be, in my opinion, the better version. But, I mean, again, it's really all about personal preference. So, one of the things Dinosaurs does best is that it's really good at clearing boards, especially with cards like Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And if you play the right engines at the right ratios... This deck can be pretty oppressive, and I wanted to elaborate more on that, so let's go and get started. So, the main deck is 48 cards, starting off with three copies of Soul Eating Overraptor, best card in the entire deck. It's Foolish Burial, it's Rhoda, it's also a Monster Reborn. Uh, you just target a level 4 or lower dinosaur monster on the field, uh, pop it, and then you can special summon one dinosaur monster from your graveyard, so that comes up from time to time. And if you have Lost World out, um, there are ways you can kind of just like cheese out ways to, you know, get more advantage off of that. So, yeah, Soul Eating Ovi Raptor is definitely crazy as it is. Uh, next up, three copies of Baby Sarasaurus. This card is also pretty cracked because it's not once per turn. It's a mandatory effect, and it can even bring itself out uh, off of its own effect. So, yeah, this card is destroyed by card effect. You can special summon any level four or lower dinosaur monster from your deck to your field. And, yeah, uh, it's like I said, it's pretty cracked. Uh, two copies of Petit Pteranodon, kind of like Baby, but the only difference is that it special summons level 4 or higher monsters. And, of course, those monsters can't attack the turn they're summoned, but, I mean, that's kind of fine because, like, you're either going to use them for Link Fodder or Xyz Material, so, like, it really depends on what, what this situation calls for. Next up, two copies of the Big Boss himself, two copies of uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Yeah, this card is still one of the best boss monsters ever conceived. It can attack all monsters. It's also a Book of Eclipse. And if it attacks into a defense position monster, you can you can just send that monster to the graveyard and inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent. So, yeah, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno is nuts. Two copies of Pankratops. I think last time I was just playing this at one simply because I wasn't playing a going second build. But now in this build, I can go first or second. I prefer, preferably prefer to go second because, again, the whole point of this deck is like you want to try to just break your opponent's boards. And this deck can do this quite well. And like I said, the combos are pretty explosive if, if they all go off. But Pankratops, you know, it's good because it's a Cyber Dragon. It can also pop cards just to force out negates. So, like, this card just does a lot in, in one. So, yeah, it's really nice. Next up, two copies of Animador and Archosaur. Um, if it's normal or special summon, you can pop a dinosaur on your hand or field. So, great, great way to, you know, pop, like, a baby or petite that's already in your hand. And then you can also search out a double evolution pill directly from your deck. So, yeah, Animador and Archosaur is pretty good. And it is also a level 1, which is pretty relevant. So, uh, again, I'll get more into that later, but... Yeah, the, uh, this card's a this card's a great addition to the deck. Uh, next up, two copies of Scrap Raptor. So as as y'all know, I am playing Scraps. Uh, Scrap Raptor is pretty interesting. So um, you can target one monster you control, destroy it. Also, during the main phase, you can normal summon one Scrap monster in addition to your normal summon. And keep in mind, you can pop any monster you control, and this can, in fact, include itself. And if this card is destroyed by the effect of a Scrap monster, once again, it can this can, in fact, include itself. You can have one Scrap Factory or one Non-Tuner Scrap Monster, in which case you're going to search out a copy of Scrap Chimera. And when this card is uh, summoned, uh, normal summoned, you can you can target one Scrap Tuner Monster in your graveyard, special summon. It can't be used as Synchro Material except for Scrap Synchro Monster, but you're not really going to use it for that purpose. These are basically just extenders. So like, yeah, like the Scrap Engine by itself just helps you extend and push for plays, go into free uh, rank four plays, or just if you just need a like, link climb. That's generally their, their main purpose. I wanted to run Scrap Golem as well, but it was pretty probably the most bricky card in the deck, so I just, I just cut it. So yeah, uh, just a two Raptor and one Chimera, that's all you need. Uh, one Miscellaneous Source, you know, for obvious reasons, it's limited. One Giant Rex. Uh, for the Nemesis package, I am running one Flag, two Corridors, simply because I am on Infernal Flame Banshee. So I can just search out the Flag, Flag can search out the Corridor. So, like, I have ways just to kind of, like, loot these guys. And for the namesake of the deck, I am running the one Thunder Dragon Dark. 
and one Thunder Dragon Hawk. So the funny thing is, like, as long as I can get Thunder Dragon Dark either on uh, on the Grave or just banish it off of Gold Sark or even off of Double Evo Pill, I can search out the Thunder Dragon Hawk Hawk effect to Special Summon it, and then just like that, I got a free Colossus. And Corridor, you know, it is a Thunder monster, so if you uh, shuffle back one of your banished monsters, it, it does count as a Thunder monster effect on the hand. So you can also make a, a Colossus that way. So, yeah, the Thunder Engine just does so much. All right, so moving on here. Okay. For my hand traps, I am playing three copies of Ash, of course. Always got to play this at three. Uh, since I mentioned before, I do like to break boards, and this is a deck I typically like to go second with. Three copies of Nib. And three copies of Imperm. And again, you can, in fact, go first. You know, if you if your opponent forces you to go first, this deck can still do quite a lot. So just bear that in mind. And yeah, that's it for that. Now for my spell lineup, I'm playing three copies of Lost World and the one Terraforming, so technically four, I guess. Three Fossil Dig. Two Double Evo. Uh, two copies of Thrust and... I was playing Talons before, but I, I switched it to Thrust, and that's simply because, like, Thrust can get me to any normal spell, and I do play quite a heavy amount of normal spells. So, yeah, like, Thrust has a lot of utility in this deck. And funny enough, it can get me into one Pot of Prosperity, which is limited right now, sadly. But, I mean, honestly, this card needed to go to one. This card was just absurd. But, thankfully, like I said, you can kind of just cheat this out, and if, there, if I hard open it, that's even better. And, yeah, most of the time I will banish six for cost, just so I can dig six cards deep into my deck. But if I if I really need my extra deck, then I'm only gonna just limit it down to three. But again, most of the time you're gonna wanna do the six. But anyway, moving on. Uh, one Gold Sark. So as I mentioned, you can kind of just like cheese out the whole Thunder Dragon Colossus by just banishing the Thunder Dragon Dark. And yeah, Gold Sark, just one of those cards that just paves the way for that. And if you already have the, if you already have a means to, you know, get Dark into the banished pile anyway, you can still just go into Giant Rex, and Giant Rex will just bring itself back. But anyway, moving on, the one Foolish Burial. And last but not least, one Called by the Grave. So, off fantastic cards. Alright, so now for the extra deck. Playing the one Scrub Wyvern. I have considered playing this at two, because like sometimes having that second one can be pretty nice. But Scrub Wyvern, um, usually so far one has been working just fine. But anyway, what it does is that you target one Scrap Monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and then you destroy one card you control. If another face-up scrap monster you, um, is destroyed by a card effect, so keep in mind this cannot include itself for this, you can special summon one scrap monster from your deck and then destroy one card on the field. So this is just another way to loop out another scrap raptor. So yeah, scrap wyvern is just pretty nuts. I am playing the one all mirage and one secure garna. These are just here to help get double evolution pill live. Uh, one relinquish anima, as I mentioned before, animador and archosaur is the level one monster, so it is pretty relevant for that. And Anima does require a level 1 monster. One SP Little Knight, of course. One IP Mascarena. The One Nightmare Unicorn. And, of course, uh, one Access Code Talker. Yeah, it's also a board breaker. And, yeah, you could you could argue the fact that you may not need this. But sometimes, like, if I just need to make sure my, my plays go through and use an effect where my opponent can't really respond to, yeah, I think Access Code Talker is the one to do it. Uh, for the Xyz lineup, you know, one Dolka. One Lagia. Since obviously I'm not on the Xeno engine, I'm not going to be playing Lars in this deck. But anyway, moving on. One Abyss Dweller, since you know there are still a lot of Grave Record based effects. One Duke Garrus. One Infernal Flame Banshee. This is how you search out Nemesis Flag, since it is a Pyro Monster. And last but not least, two copies of Thunder Dragon Colossus, since again, the Thunder package is a little bit bigger now, and since the Nemesis are, well, two of them at least are Thunder Monsters, you're going to have more, more fodder for. For the Colossus, just, you know, banish to protect itself from destruction. So, yeah, it's just like, why not just make your opponent more miserable, right? All right, so that's it for that. Now for the side deck, playing three copies of Phantasme. Three Drone Lockbird. If I hold on. Okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, two Lightning Storm. One Harvey's Feather Duster. And then I'm running a little bit more traps on the side, you know, still sticking to IDP. So one of my favorite side cards right now. And three copies of Barrier, uh, just, you know, to deal with Voiceless Voice. Since, you know, funny enough, my deck plays, like, a plethora of things, but uh, does not play Rituals. So, yeah, Dimensional Barrier can, in fact, stop Ritual Summoning. 
But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys again next time.